All right, time for a new video. Sorry it took me so long this year. Um, it was cool. It's been a cool year. Actually, the last two years, um, it has rained uh, deep into the spring, and we haven't had many stretches of warm weather. Um, norm normally, it'll be warm for a week or two in February, and so things will kind of pick up on a lot of the trees, and then it'll cool down again. And uh, so by the time um, April rolls around, I usually have some pretty nice uh, trees to show. But now they kind of uh, leafed out patchy. Um, some of them took a while to, to look presentable. And um, of course, some came out, came out of the gate and they're probably already green now or they don't have their peak colors a lot of the trees don't have their peak colors right now but that's okay because i have a lot of uh, videos out there that uh, have the trees with their peak colors so um this will just show them kind of in their second their second phase of colors um this is uh geisha gone wild or uh, shiraz i actually purchased this one a shiraz um basically the same tree um see very very nice variegated tree most people are aware of this one. Um, it, it, uh, it's a very popular tree, at least with the uh, collector crowd. Um, not, not difficult to find. A lot of, uh, of um, nurseries carry it. Um, it's hardy and it's consistent, doesn't really revert. So um, it's a, really an excellent tree. Um, Acer Shiraz. Uh, the one next to it is a new one for me this year. This is um, Mystic Jewel. This is an Oliver Anum hybrid. Um, at least it's it's sold in Europe as a Palmatum hybrid, and maybe it's uh, Palmatum Oliver Anum. I don't know. Um, the leaves do look like Oliver Anum leaves, so I would say that's probably what it is. Um, if it's Hybridized with Amoenum or or um, Palmatum, I don't know, but uh, it's different. It doesn't like really. It's not real striking, but it's unusual. It has this um, a kind of a different green color, kind of a almost like a blue green color, a, a blue green color, and then um, the secondary flushes on it, which uh, I think occur regularly it seems like a pretty fast growing tree um they're kind of a this color kind of a red with a little bit of yellow and green in them um neat neat tree different um and if you need something that gets out there quick it's probably a good tree um here's a new one that i just got very pretty um you can see the uh subtle variegation in it this is acer circinatum cassandra um, the, the white stuff on there that I, I just got the tree like a couple days ago and that's, uh, an anti-desiccant, I believe it's called uh, nature shield. Um, and they, the guy said they spray something else on it too, like a, a calcium, some, or, uh, it, it contains calcium, um, which helps, uh, it's basically a sunscreen. So it helps, uh, from going from a greenhouse into uh, sunny conditions so the trees leaves don't burn um, I don't know how much this one uh, could handle as far as sun it's this area here is a kind of a morning sun area so I think it'll be okay but we'll find out um, a neat tree I mean it's really uh, the only thing kind of similar to this would be like a, a pulverulentum um, which is a um, acer campestri as kind of a similar uh, variegation. There might be something else, but I, I, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, neat, Acer circinatum campestri, or not <laughs> campestri, Acer circinatum um, cassandra. Uh, this back here is um, Dixie Spirit. It's a, an upright um, lace leaf. It's uh, supposed to be red, um, maybe it turns red in more sunlight. Um, for me, it's just this kind of unusual green color, and then it has does have the red flushes on it. Um, it kind of has a little bit of a, a a bronzy 
or uh, reddish um, overcast to the leaves. So um, uh, it seems pretty vigorous, just like a like a cereo would be. I believe it's the cereo uh, seedling. So anyway, um, neat tree, different, um, mostly because it's upright, and then uh, the color of it is different from uh, the other couple uprights up there, uh, the cereo type um, lace leaves. Okay, so this tree here is Hanamatoe. I purchased this one as Acer Japonicum Blushing Beauty uh, from a, a nursery I hadn't tried before. Um, obviously, they were way off. I bought it when it was dormant, so I think they were just trying to pass it off as one to make a sale. But uh, no, I'm, I'm glad I, I have Blushing Beauty now. And I'm glad I got a Hanamatoe because um, something that a tree that I've always liked, but I never I never purchased one. It's a neat variegated dissectum. It's uh, this is a nice one too. It actually came out with pretty good color this year. Um, so Hanamatoe. Uh, this one back here just starting to come out. This is the Acer Sacrum Columnari. Um, it's one of the later trees to come out on a regular basis anyway. It needs some warm weather to come out. It's uh, late here where I live. It's uh, Acer Sacrum. I don't know how, how well the species is going to do long term here, but this is a neat um, column, columnar uh, tree. Kind of looks like a totem pole. Pretty cool, but actually uh, ends up doing well. I've had it for a couple years now. It hasn't grown much, and I think normally it's a decently fast growing tree so um, I don't know we'll see now that it has a better soil and, and all that it may it'll probably do well uh, this is Acer nice uh, species you don't see too often it's uh, Acer olivaceae um, really pretty in the fall and uh, nice nice I like the leaves kind of like uh, a little bit like Acer amoenum but a little bit more uh, star shaped um, pretty cool this I've showed before this is a sunset beautiful tree um, not all of it's come out yet you see back there part of its growing it's just from root damage last year um, tree not getting enough water late in the season so uh, it takes a while for them to develop the, enough roots back to to give the those areas energy, but it, it'll it'll get it. Um, this right here is Acer miyabii, a rare uh, Japanese maple, not a not from uh, section palmata though. Um, close, more closely related to Acer campestri, but a fairly rare tree, Acer miyabii. Uh, this is a newer uh, broom, Cersonatum broom. It's called uh, Rainy Day. Um, it's just like a standard green witch's broom. Um, hopefully it has some a nice structure as it grows, but nothing spectacular. I mean, we'll see what the uh, fall color's like. Um, just kind of a unique little tree. I like uh, I like the Cersonatum witch's broom. I like the Cersonatums in general. Um, I know not everybody can keep them. Um, they do fairly well for me here. Uh, not great, but fairly well. Um, let's see, this is Catalina Yatsubusa. Nice uh, Mikawa Yatsubusa type. Um, it's, it has variegated light and dark green leaves. It, the variegation kind of shows up a little better in the summer. So, But right now, um, still looks good. Good tree. Uh, this is a new one for me. Um, very a lot darker than I thought it would be. It's, it, it came out kind of a muted red color, but uh, now it's it's dark. It's like a dark dark purple red, like a burgundy or maroon color really. Um, it's called Right Fred, uh, Acer Right Fred, Acer Amoenum White Right Fred. Um, this back here is another Cersonatum hybrid. Probably Cersonatum palmatum hybrid. This is called Herbstfuer. Um, Fast-growing, hardy tree. 
Um, not all the Cercinatums are weak. Um, in, let's say East Coast or South, um, this one might be one you want to try. Um, it's pretty similar to an, a regular Acer Palmatum, but it, it kind of has a has kind of cool leaves, more a little bit more rounded like the Cercinatum. Um, uh, beautiful red color, I guess in the uh, fall. I'll see maybe orange, but either orange or red. Uh, this one, this is Benny Yukagumo. A lot of people. Uh, go crazy over this one. This one had a little bit of root damage last year too um, from the soil I was using. Uh, everything's good now though. Um, as you can see I have I have them in uh, nursery pots now. Kind of went away from the um, the growing bags because last year I had um, I was trying out different soils and uh, I ended up trying a couple that weren't very good, especially for the grow bags. Um, they just drained too well. They didn't hold enough uh, moisture for the grow bags. So um, some of the trees had some root damage. So they're they're kind of recuperating this year. Um, but mini Yukagoma looks pretty good. It'll be it'll be fine. It's uh, growing back strong. Um, this one is Mikazuki. Um, comes out more pink than this, but uh, not my favorite of the pink uh, reticulated types. I know a lot of people really like Mikazuki. Um, the uh, it's got neat leaves. I mean, I like the thin lobes and they're kind of twisted looking, um, but it doesn't hold its color very long. It's not uh, it's not that impressive compared to some other ones like. Uh, Celebration, which I like a lot. Um, the only reason I would buy this one is for the leaf shape and the leaf, really not not really for the color. Not if if you want something a really nice reticulated um, pink. Uh, I I like Celebration personally. It does really well for me. That one too has to be has to be in the right location to get the nicest color. Um, but if you find the right spot for Celebration. It uh, it's pretty impressive. Here's a really cool new one. It's uh, called uh, it's Acer Cercinatum J A G, Jag. It um, it it's another witch's broom, um, but it has some really bright colors. See those colors? So I I like this one a lot so far. Let's see how it grows. Um. Be a, a dense looking kind of bushy tree. Um, so far, really like it. J A G. Uh, here's one I just got from Maple Stone Ornamentals. If you haven't tried Maple Stone, check them out. Excellent nursery. I mean, their their trees are always healthy, um, bigger than other than most other nurseries. Um, roots or fill the pot. It's not like a a liner planted into a bigger pot um, which they don't ship that well that way that's the only I, I don't mind a liner I but I'd rather I'd rather receive it as a liner than uh, receiving it um, in a one gallon pot so but maple stone doesn't do that they have nice big healthy trees um, this is a uh, this one's called Ever Autumn. This is another Cercinatum hybrid, one of the hardier Cercinatum hybrids. Um, not sure if it's hybridized with Palmatum. I think they, everybody says everything's hybridized with Palmatum, but half the time it's a, um, it's Amoenum, which is not Palmatum. It's a different species. Um, but all of the, uh, it gets lumped into Palmatum. I mean, it, especially in the nurse, nursery trade. My dog chasing a bird or squirrel. <laughs> um, let's see. So, Ever Autumn. This one will get some nice oranges and reds. And once it gets some sun exposure, I just got this one. So it's um, it's coming from a, a greenhouse, but I, I expect it to develop some nice color on the leaves. Maybe I'll do another video uh, soon once it starts developing that color. Um, it's in a. It came in a one-gallon container, but it's in, I. I Printed it up to a two gallon uh, because the it, it, the pot was completely full of roots, so it was looking good. 
Um, here we have Benny Yukaguma, or not Benny Yukaguma, Red Jaguar. Um, really cool tree. It, uh, as long as the temperatures stay cool, it holds its color for a pretty long time. And in the when you have that second push of growth, um, by the time it's green, it's got some actually some really neat uh, variegation going on with the second push too. It's a little bit different, a little bit lighter color, more pinks. Um, so there's a second push growth, or actually just maybe some late late opening buds. Uh, this one. It's another just green campestry like tree. This one's from China. This one's called uh, Acer Miao Tianzi. Another kind of rare tree. Not as uh, rare in the wild as uh, Miabii. It used to be considered a um, subspecies of Miabii, but it's now considered uh, its own species. Uh, here, nice looking um, Bakawa seedling. Um, pretty cool. Uh, this one back here is Koi, another uh, Makawa type, another seedling type that was actually named and turned into a cultivar. Um, it's not that impressive to me. It's a, it's a I mean, it's it's a pretty little tree. Uh, the, the the best thing about it is the fall colors, really, kind of uh, multicolor in the fall which is unlike a lot of the other Makawas, which are usually like orange in color, orange or red. Uh, this one is a, just a red Amoenum. It's kind of got a unique purplish red color to it though. Unique uh, purple, almost, you can see it here. It's almost kind of like a bluish cast to the purple. Uh, this one's called John Tuvon, um, which I guess it's not the true John Tuvon. It's, it's not really named yet but it's being called John Tuvon, at least for now. Um, it's something a little different for a red, but it's just still another big leaf red, really. Um, here I have, uh, this is a Shirasawanum hybrid, probably hybridized with Amoenum. Um, Bronze Age, it's a um, cool tree. It, it hasn't gotten its color yet. It actually gets nicer color a little later for me. It, it kind of it comes out kind of greenish and, and then develops color. This one's coming out really slow. I don't know if it's because of uh, root damage from last year or um, just maybe a combination of that and it being so cool. Um, here we have uh, Jerry Schwartz. I never get the great color, at least this is my second year with it, so I haven't gotten that great red color that everybody always gets on this one. I, it's a really cool cool uh, witch's broom. Um, but uh, as it, when it grows a little bit more, I'll probably uh, put it in more sun so it gets that more of a red color. And last for this video, really cool cultivar called um, Acer Truncatum Super Dragon. Um, a friend of mine, um, really cool guy, uh, sent me this one uh, as a gift from uh, from Texas. So uh, that's where most of these come from, pretty much all of them, from Metro Maples in Texas. Um, it's not widely available elsewhere yet, um, or maybe not at all. Um, hopefully at some point um, it'll be more available and I, I'm sure it will because every, everybody it's, wants this tree now. Um, it's got some really cool leaves on it. I have a yellow green color, more yellow and more sun. I didn't give it a lot of sun this year. I wanted it to just grow and be healthy and not have to worry about it uh, burning. Um, it will probably take the... Uh, the sun for a while in the spring but eventually it will start burning if you don't move it out of the sun um all right that's it for now i've got a lot more trees to show so um, i'll do another video here real quick uh, in the next few days hopefully and uh show you some more